This is a video explaining the Malcolm in the Middle iceberg off Reddit. There'll be a link to it in the description if you want to see it for yourself. This isn't a very long iceberg compared to most others that I see, but that just means the video can be shorter and I have to do less work, so that's pretty good. The tip of the iceberg, well-known things about Malcolm in the Middle that all fans should know. In Malcolm in the Middle, the last name of the family is never explicitly revealed. In the pilot episode, on Francis's name tag, it says the name Wilkerson. But in the final episode, Graduation, Francis's work badge says Francis, no last name. Some people think that maybe Francis could have taken the second name of his wife, Piyama. This is not the case, as Piyama's second name is Tanana Hackner. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. A lot of people have made theories that Breaking Bad is in the same universe as Malcolm in the Middle, and Walter White is Hal. There was even a Breaking Bad alternate ending featured on the DVD, where Hal wakes up from a dream, and it reveals that the entire show of Breaking Bad was just a nightmare had by Hal. Jane Kaczmarek even reprised her role as Lois. And Brian Cranston already plays Hal and Walter White. Second layer, stuff that big fans of Malcolm in the Middle would know. Peg is a character who appeared in the funeral episode of Malcolm in the Middle. He's Dewey's friend. He doesn't talk throughout the entire episode. He only appears in that episode and never appears again throughout all of the episodes of the show. Eric Per Sullivan, who plays Dewey, retired shortly after Malcolm in the Middle, after only three more movie credits. I believe Wilkerson's location is talking about the house that the family lives at. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. In real life, the house is 12334 Cantura Street in Studio City. The house has changed a lot through the years. It was repainted to be blue in 2008 and is barely recognisable. In 2012, the house was entirely destroyed and a new, more luxury house was built there. Obscure, even I didn't know the things on this section of the iceberg and I thought I was a big fan. I believe Red Dress Mistake is referring to the fact that you can see a crew member in the episode. He is holding a bucket full of water, which is probably how the dress was wet. Tiki Malcolm is the picture Lois puts up to embarrass Malcolm in the episode Standy. Sinet Mac is the Russian adaptation of Malcolm in the Middle. It is not a ripoff, it is officially licensed. It was hard to find information about this online. All I could find at first was a YouTube video, link in the description. The video is in Russian, but I just looked at the pictures and could tell that the characters were quite similar. I put the description of the video into Google Translate to get more information. After a bit of research, I actually managed to find a full episode of the show. The subtitles are in English, so if you want to watch that, there's a link in the description. The show is pretty much a shot-for-shot -shot remake of Malcolm, with pretty much all the dialogue being the same as well. There was a really good comparison video uploaded by Malcolm France, link in the description. Very obscure, even Malcolm in the Middle super fans don't know this stuff exists. Skulltastic Competition The company Skulltastic published a lot of Malcolm in the Middle books. One of the Malcolm in the Middle books even had a competition where you could m go on the set of the show. It is unknown who won this contest. Malcolm in the Middle O's is a promotional serial made to promote Malcolm in the Middle. It came out in 1999. No, I didn't make a mistake. The serial came out before the show. The Tokyo Pop Manga is a series of cinemanga books published by Tokyo Pop based off Malcolm in the Middle. I've heard that it's not actual art and just screenshots from the show with captions and speech bubbles. I couldn't find any screenshots from inside the book, but I did find some other screenshots from some other cinemangas, such as this SpongeBob one.
So the art is probably just screenshots like it is for all these other shows. This is the final section. There's only one thing in it, but I don't think 99% of the audience will know what it is. This is referring to Eric Per Sullivan taking a dead frog in a jar from the set that was in the boy's bedroom. This information is from the behind the scenes of the final Malcolm in the Middle episode. Link in the description. The video is over now. I have nothing more to talk about. Like the video and subscribe if you think I should do more videos like this.